Well, hey guys, welcome back to another live, no, it's not live commentary, it's a regular commentary over some Black Ops 3 footage, and it's not a great footage, it's a mediocre footage at best. So, but, today's topic is, what is the worst problem in Black Ops 3? What is the one thing that they need help on? <laughs> it is the easiest thing, it is the easiest thing, it's not... The melees, all these melee weapons, which, you know, people are having fun. It's not the matchmaking, you know, which, you know, can be a little rough, but it's not bad overall. Not like Advanced Warfare. But what really bugs me is the lobbies. It's amazing. It's been seven months into its cycle. The lobbies are not fixed yet. And I've already tweeted uh, Activision support. I've, I tweeted Treyarch about it. And they've replied and all this other stuff, and nothing seems to be happening. Seven months into the life cycle of Black Ops 3, and it still hasn't got fixed. And I'll tell you what needs to be fixed. First of all, going into a game and realizing that one team has seven players and the other team has five. I mean, how fair is that? I mean, it's fun. It's kind of like playing like Ground War, but you have less players on your team and in this case the video you're watching I have five on my team soon to be four and then soon to be three because everybody's getting wrecked by you know <clears throat> going up against seven people it is just not fair in a normal core TDM gameplay you can see right there I just started noticing it 7v4 7v4 it's like you know you have to you have to start playing a little campish you gotta Start playing a different way. You're going to be dying a lot. I ended up doing okay. I think I had like a 2 KD. I went like 26 and 13 or something like that. But And that's only one part of it, guys. That's only one part. The other part is I've done it where I've been in the lobby. Oh, I'm sorry. And, and it was a party of like four people. And we've been on two separate teams. And then the matchmaking for it, they put the two best people in our party and put them on the same team. And put the two worst people, or you know, the, I'm, when I say worse and better, I'm talking about they're better at the game, and then the worst people are just uh, not as good. You know, they're not as experienced players, or just not experienced players, but just you know, a lower score per minute, lower KD, whatever. Uh, so yeah, not not as good. And we've been on two separate teams, and I'm not sure. This is kind of like my last attempt here to reach out to Activision, to reach out to Treyarch, to try to get this fixed. I'm going to actually tweet them this video, because this is proof that it's 7v4, and, or 7v5, to start off the team. I mean, I, I don't understand. It should be an easy fix. I think in all the Call of Duties I've ever played, and that's, that's pretty much every single one of them, uh, I've been playing Call of Duty for, I, I don't even know how many years, but back, I used to play back on PC back in the day. But I've never seen it where it had the issues. I think I've maybe seen it once, maybe on Black Ops 2. Maybe it was Black Ops 2 that I've seen it maybe once, where there was seven people versus five people or something like that, and, you know, teams were unfair. Uh, but then also, too, is the parties. It's like, if you're in a party, you should be able to be on the same team together. I don't just understand why, you know, they have to split up my, our, our party. And it's happened more than once. So I'm not sure what's going on with, with the... Uh, with the lobbies, but that's to me the biggest problem that they have with Black Ops 3 right now. And it's an easy fix. I think they'll be able to fix it pretty simply. I don't think they're going to uh, have any issues fixing it. They just need to fix it. I've seen it on other people's uh, channels, uh, YouTube channels, where they've had uh, problems with it. So, yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to share real quick with you guys the one biggest problem. I'm going to be bringing you guys more commentaries. Uh, I can real quick tell you, one's going to be the Panic Knife. What's happened to the Panic Knife? And, uh, obviously it's not in Black Ops 3. They took it out. They said it's now a two-hit unless you have a melee weapon. But you have, um, you know, Infinite Warfare coming coming back here, or coming up here shortly. Will Panic Knife be back in Infinite Warfare? And we'll get back to that topic on the next episode um, when I do a commentary and there's some other stuff that maybe we want to think about when Infinity War, oh, uh, Infinite Warfare comes up. And by the way, guys, E3 is coming out here, I think, June 12th. And that's when, more than likely, we will see multiplayer footage of 
of infinite warfare. So we're looking, we're looking for that, looking at the movement system and stuff. Again, this is all for another topic for another video, but uh, just wanted to, to reach out there, guys. You know, the worst thing about, at least to me, the worst problem they have with Black Ops Three, and it's still doable. You still play it, but the worst problem is the lobbies need to be fixed. So, anyways, guys. That's going to do it for me for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you guys did. If you guys, no, there it is. Seven versus three right there. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, have a great day and great gaming. And I'll see you guys next time. See you.